Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the most important topic in networking that is IP address. So let's see what is an IP address. For two devices to communicate, they must be able to find each other. For two devices to find each other, their location must be known to each other. These locations are called in the computer world IP addresses. An IP address is a unique identifier assigned to each device connected to a computer network. But why it should be unique? Let me explain this with an example. I hope so you notice in one home we don't have two person with same name. Because if we have two John in one home and when someone called John who will respond? Both of them will be confused. Because of the same reason in one network each device have a unique IP address to communicate. And if by chance same IP address assigned to two different devices in a network then an IP conflict occurs because of duplicate IP addresses and they can't communicate. But what make an IP address unique? Let me explain this. The most common analogy for an IP address is the postal service. For the postal service to work, every house need to have its own unique address. House on the same street share the street number but house address must be unique. And when you need to send a letter, you need to write the complete destination address on the letter envelope. That's why when you send the letter, the postman know exactly where to deliver it because the address is unique. So the combination of street number and house number make the address unique. Computer work in the same way. Each computer in a network need to have a unique address called an IP address. And when sending data to a computer, just like letters, we need to add destination address. We also need to include the sender address so they know where to reply. So let's look at an IP address. This is an IPv4 address 192.168.100.1. IP address is written as a string of decimal numbers that are separated by dots. As we know, our home address have two parts, street number and house number. In same way, IP address also have two parts, network portion and host portion. Consider network portion as a street number and host portion as home number. There can be many home on a single street. Same way in a computer network, there can be many hosts on single network. How many hosts can be on single network? It depends on network bits. As we know, IPv4 address is 32 bits long, which means it contains 32 binary digits. And as we know, binary digits mean 1 and zeros. Every IPv4 address is a combination of four octet that separated by dots. Each octet contain any number between 0 to 255. But why till 255? Because each octet is combination of 8 bits and 2 raised to power 8 is 256. Because we count 0 also, so we reduce 1 from 256. And 255 is the largest number that can be made from 8 bits. So that's why each octet contains any number between 0 to 255. Okay, as I said before, the IP address itself represents the two portions, network portion and host portion. To know what is network portion and what is host portion, it depends on subnet mask. A subnet mask always linked with an IP address and it used to identify the network part and host part of the IP address. For your basic understanding, whenever you see 255, this is the network part of the IP address. And whenever you see 0, this is the host part of the IP address. This is the simplest form of subnetting. Also remember, network portion remains same for every device in the network but host portion will be unique for every device in same network. Subnetting can get a bit more complicated than that. That's why I will explain subnetting in another video with details. 
So to understand the IP address and difference between network part and host part of an IP address, always remind your home address, where you share the same street number as your neighbor, but it's the house number that make your address unique. So combination of your street number and house number make your home address complete and unique. It's the same with computer network, where instead of street number, you have network address, and instead of house address, you have host number or host ID. Here we have two different networks 192.168.100.0 and 10.20.30.0, both with the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Inside both networks, we have host 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, as per subnet mask, 255 means this is the network portion and 0 means host portion of the IP address. So the complete unique address of each host in network 192.168.100 is 192.168.100.1 for host 1, 192.168.100.2 for host 2, 192.168.100.3 for host 3 and 192.168.100.4 for host 4 and so on. Same for 10.20.30 network also, where host address is same like .1, .2, .3 and .4, but network address is different. So well, I hope so you understand the network portion and host portion of an IP address. So in last, a test for you. If we have to send data to 192.168.100.4 with subnet mask of 255.255.255.0, dot zero where would we send it well if we look at the subnet mask we can found that the network is 192.168.100 and dot four is our host number in that network so we send it over the host in the network on the left side hopefully that all makes sense for you thank you for watching and don't forget to like subscribe and share Thank you.